Hey guys, Motor Car Nut here, and today we're talking about the TSI VW engine again, the 2.0 turbo. I'll give you a couple of tips that you may be experiencing uh, with these vehicles and uh, kind of a short way to cut through a lot of the stuff, a lot of the, you know, traditional diagnostics because, you know, I see, I see these cars on a daily basis. Uh, it's not just these, Toyota, any kind of a car. So let's not just hop on VW. We're just trying to get your VW fixed. All right, so now, if you're dealing with a no-start or you're getting cam codes, the P006, uh, 341, um, all those type of codes that have to do with the timing and if the car is not starting, I have a lot of videos on the oil control valve, which is right here, this oil control valve. All right, I show you if it's, when it looks good, this one is good. I, I explain to you what a bad one is. That'll give you the codes. Uh, let's go to the table over here. Let me show you another thing. I can jump around a little bit. I can make videos on each one of these things. Um, but I already have it. If you see this, this is the cam bridge. All right, that goes over there like that. If you notice here, there's an oil control ball like a ball, a little spring, a ball, and this is supposed to be like a filter that goes here with everything else in there. It'll, so if it's all missing like that, the car is not gonna start. You're gonna have a, a low oil pressure, uh, all these cam codes. And a simple way to take that off, I have videos on how to take that off, but I'll put them in the link uh, to do the timing chain. You take the cover off, Okay, if you're having these problems, the easiest way is you're going to have a plastic cover here. You're going to have hoses here. You can watch my videos. You take that plastic cover off, okay? And what you do, simple thing, is you crank it from the bottom. All right, now when you're cranking, if, the, if, when you're cranking, if it hits something or it's solid, that's it. Stop. What happened is your timing chain tensioner failed. It jumped timing. You smashed valves, all that bad stuff. All right. Now let's say assume that you're, you're turning it, right? Over here, you're gonna see a mark. You see like a little arrow, and over here, it's like a little mark right here. You get that mark pretty much like 12, 30, you know, one o'clock, pretty much here, and you look down in here. Now, you see, like the, um, the uh, cam has a hole, has a, um, a little curvature to it. So let's say you could put a socket in and get to the, um, get to the uh, head bolt. You see what I'm talking about? Now on this side, it's supposed to be the same. And you see it right there, but you see it's not straight. You see it's like this instead of like this. All right. So when you line it up like this, this one's got to be straight. And that one pretty much has to be straight so you can get to the bolt. See, you can't get to the head bolt over there because it's, it's uh, this way. That's your problem. Timing jumped, and you got all that bad stuff. What's funny about this one, I just got this car in, is I checked the tensioner. I show you guys in another video how to check the tensioner. This one has the updated one, so God knows what they did wrong. So all I know is that when I turn this, I'm turning it, right? Okay. And right there, that's, it's hitting something. Not hitting something, it's hitting the valves. All right, and you know what's funny? You can crank it and the car will go, because let's say they're already bent, so look, I'll put a little more pressure. Well, no, I don't even want to do it. Anyway, the car was cranking over. It was cranking. So, you know, it's pushing, it's, it's even smashing the valve more or you know however whatever however much it smashed it so needless to say minimum at a minimum got to take the head off and redo the valves and see what's going on with the timing chain but the purpose of the video is you do it fast the plastic cover is right here you're going to have an engine mount you take the engine mount out and you know what hold on a minute let me show you another car all right i'm gonna show you on this one this is what you're going to be dealing with when you first see it. You take the, the plastic cover off, and over here, you're going to have an engine mount you have to take off. You have to take off the solenoid valve here. 
All right, that's 30, you know, you just take this, this video is not how to do that. It's just explaining to you that it's behind here. And then you're gonna get to that. You have to watch my videos. There's gonna be a cam bridge here, which I just showed you. And we have to look at those, um, those uh, the cam slots that I just showed you. Okay, and what that does is before, if you're having these, all these problems, what that does is if they're not, if they're not pretty much in line, don't go any further with any kind of diagnostics. It's ridiculous. You have problems. It's time and chain jumped. Okay? By the time and chain failure on the car. And it does all kinds of problems. All right, guys. That's a fast shortcut on, you know, these serious engine problems. Motor car now. Please subscribe. Hit the like button. If you learned something, I appreciate a donation to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.